I'm a building worker by trade, and if I was working on a roof, I required the people around me to watch my back, and I did the same with them. So the eth ethos of solidarity is a strong one, but they're trying to destroy it. I remember quite clearly the student movement in the late 1960s, and particularly the uh, action at um, the LSE, which has become a complete different institution now to what it was. But the, what happened there was there was a complete, uh, the students occupied the university. We can't do that in the middle of COVID, so that's a problem for us. And then I went to Hull University as an adult uh, student, and the same thing, we had an occupation there. In our case, we wanted to get the university to divest from its investments in, in apartheid. The LSE um, example, though, I think is interesting because the students said, you know what, we don't want to even learn some of the courses you've been teaching us because it's crap, basically. It's the status quo establishment stuff. We want to hear things different. So the man who became later my um, uh, my mentor was a guy called Ralph Milliband, who you will have heard of. And he then began to give free lectures in Marxism and socialism and economic history and other, uh, other university lecturers joined him. And there were massive crowds of students drawn in during the occupation to learn about different ways of seeing the world than the ones that they were being taught by the conventional lecturers. Well, it frightened the establishment to death, actually. And various actions were taken, including sacking staff and so on and so forth. However, you know, student movements can be incredibly uh, successful if they learn the working class values, solidarity and collective action. So just to bring